Hey legends, and welcome to our channel. We are Matt, Sarah, and Zeppelin. And for the past seven years, we've been living the dream, exploring every nook and cranny of Australia in our Willow Boab caravan and cruising in Fuzz, our Fuso canter. In this series, we're taking you along the stunning West Coast to answer the burning question, is West really best? Let the adventure begin. Welcome back to another video. Last episode, we started the Netherball Highway and the weather turned bad. Right, it is completely buffeting down now. Um, lots of lightning, lots of thunder. The Netherball is really putting on a show. <laughs> hey, Matt. It definitely is. It is great. It's hard to see, but, um, yeah. Our plans might be changing where we're going today. Yeah. I'm not sure. We've seen one road out to the old air highway, and it was just all basically water. So it might not be the best idea to be heading out there. We're yeah. We're going to suss out in the next turn. Yeah, I mean, we've only got 125 k's for WA, um, but... Yeah, you know, we've got fruit and veg and, and all this stuff we want to use up, so we'll just see how it goes. Well, the rain stopped, so we're going to go and try the Albany Highway. Did say not to do in the wet, but it's not that wet, hopefully. Here we go, look at this. Whew. Oh dear. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to roll that up. He's stretched, full of mud. All right, look at this guys. This is what it's all about. Wow. Well, Matt is a happy, happy boy. Check this van out. You would not even know that it is normally freaking white. I'm horrified. It is just everywhere. Everywhere. Oh my gosh. On a positive note, however, um, everything in the van is still exactly as it should be. So we've uh, done some pretty rough roads. It is absolutely caked in mud, but yeah, everything's still working. So thanks Willow. Nestled amidst the rugged beauty of the Nullarbor Plain lies Canelda Homestead. Once a vital outpost along the remote air highway, Canelda Homestead stands as a testament to resilience and pioneering spirit. 
Abandoned decades ago, the homestead holds secrets of a bygone era and offers a glimpse into the lives of those who once called this place home. Do not let yourself down and not come out and check this place out, guys. After leaving the homestead, the skies opened up again and the road was incredibly slippery. You've been slippery. Yeah. <laughs> it's been slippery for sure. So you just lock we got a bit harder now. Locked in the front hubs. Just high range. But uh, when we first come in, it was slippery as. We were full crossed up, couldn't get traction. Anyway, we're good now. Yeah. No one bogged yet. Got bogged? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you reckon will be first to get bogged? Uh, probably us. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, mate. John's got the super rig, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Right, along the old air highway, we've come to the... What is that? Painted cave? Hand painted cave? Yeah, something like that. Sarah will sort that out. I'm just along for the ride. But anyway, little feral is desperately keen to go down in here and check it out. All right, we going, bud? Yeah, hundred percent. Give me a black motorcycle. Give me playback on a vinyl and some cheap aviators from '65. Give me snake skin boots, skull swaying. I bet you're too scared to come down here because <laughs> that hole is a snake's hole probably. Yeah, is it? I think so. After a fun day exploring, it was time to head back to the Nullarbor Highway. So I have picked the first freaking road in the history of roads, tracks, whatever you want to call it. Hey Matt. Yeah, it's been great, Sarah. Pins. We, we, she picked the road least travelled. Yeah. Uh, Pinstripes, uh, rocks, corrugations, but it's all part of the adventure, right? Oh, it's a rough, I've been on a road with this many rocks and boulders. It's like a cobblestone road. It's crazy. So there's no point bashing the shit out of it here. It's already rough enough. 
I mean, it's taking it steady. Thank God. Hopefully, we've only got another 35 kilometres to go. We'll be fine. <laughs> and just when you think it's over, there's more. Oh, I love it. We set up camp for the night at one of the many camps along the cliffs and enjoyed a beautiful sunset. into WA. It's been a couple of years trying to get back here. Sarah? Yeah, I'm so excited. So excited. Alright. Are you feeling different now you're in WA? I feel exactly the same. No, you look different. You look heaps different now you're in WA. Maybe I look a couple of hours younger. Oh, I would say that. Sarah? Well, I don't know. I've got green all over my teeth. Why have you got green all over your teeth, Sarah? What well, happened? I don't know. Someone decided to put food colouring in their drink. And then let me go and speak to people. <laughs> oh, this looks like you've been eating lolly. Green ice box. <laughs> to see along this area. We did stop at a blowhole. Kaguna. Kaguna. Yeah. It was uh, a good looking hole, but no, no breeze. It was pretty unimpressive, but it's something to look at. It was a bit funny though, because there's a pond, like brown tourist side, you know, you're expecting something pretty spectacular, and it's just I don't know, like a, a random hole in the ground. Right next to the road, yeah. basically. And like, yeah, it's just very underwhelming. But that's all right, we've seen some pretty good ones, are we? Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, so this is 90 miles straight. So it's straight, and it stays straight. Give yeah. it to her. Here you go, sir. Yeah. It's for you, sir. Put it on, just drop it on me. There you go, sir. It's all oh, for you, sir. Sure. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> What's it all? Oh, kangaroo mate? No. Oh, okay. Look at the things you find on the side of the road. Yeah. Self didn't want it either. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed this episode. In the next episode, we take you through Esperance, where we do some sand driving tackling the dunes, and so much more. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.